Oh, yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the 8 More Than 92 podcast, where we always keep... Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? We back, we back, we back with another episode of the 8 More Than 92 podcast where we always keep it 100 with you. After delay, we are back. I'm your host, Harrison. Thanks. All right, so we are kicking it with our big, <clears throat> we're kicking it with our homeboy, Brandon. Mr. Brandon Davis yes, from, from Just Saying Podcast. Uh, thanks again to the Navy. This has been another delay interview that we've been trying to get for a long time, but actually I'm glad we got him again because it fell to a lot of shit happening when we were gone, man. So uh, go ahead and introduce yeah. yourself to the people. It was good, y'all. Uh, it's your boy Brandon, man. I am uh, repping my own podcast up here on the 8 More Than 92. I appreciate y'all for having me. Um, podcast is called the I'm Just Saying Pod. Um, you know, basically, you know, it's, it's, it's a smooth podcast talking about dating situations and scenarios. Uh, we we uh we definitely go up on mine as well like uh i definitely i've been you're right man we've been trying to link for a minute dog it's crazy it's been like what a couple months you just been you know spreading love man i appreciate y'all i'm in the you know mentioned that earlier too man i appreciate y'all showing love on the page and whatnot uh so it's good to you know see people listening too from all over so appreciate y'all but you know the podcast is a i would like to say it's more of a comedy dating scenario all the the random situations that we go through in the in this dating world i don't know if i didn't get a chance to see if y'all was married or not you know so i ain't trying to <laughs> throw nobody in there if y'all married or whatnot but <laughs> <laughs> but it's definitely um, a funny podcast if you want to talk about situations that we go through so in the dating world so appreciate y'all man no it's definitely funny i i've these ants it's definitely funny uh i've listened to i uh, want to say two episodes i downloaded a couple mm -hmm. when i was underway and um i'll be laughing i try to put some people on to the shit for it. but like you said it's been a minute since we've been trying to get on i looked at the message and i know we first talked about it in november and then between the holidays <laughs> and, and, yeah i know the holidays and everything but i know like <clears throat> we've been rocking and supporting each other since uh the day one so i know i always considered you one of like our our day one um, supporters. And like I said, we make sure we support back. So we kind of glad we on right now. Yeah, um, for sure. I ain't gonna bullshit. I'm gonna be lax as hell today. Uh, I just finished the basketball game. We got blue the fuck out. But uh, your boy, your boy put up 20. Uh, so, you know, I don't, <laughs> I don't really know how we want to take that right now. So I had to hurry up and get back. Uh, the room is not stinking. Thank you to Middle 8 Candle Co. KP, we appreciate your candles for... Uh, sponsoring the fragrance for this episode today because it will be smelling like button nuts up in here without it but, uh, <laughs> Dog Banks, what are you up to my guy what you been up to uh nothing much man just having a, a chill weekend me and my wife we went to a wedding for one of her friends and uh we just been relaxing man uh ain't really too much you know i'm i'm ready to really get into some of these topics you know especially the i spent my weekend listening to the gospel of Kevin Samuels, you know what I mean? So really just kind of way, but we'll, we'll, we'll dive into that when we get oh, there. Just, but just, I mean, past the, past, the Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> past the Kevin, but I, I guess before we get to past the K, you know, uh, we'll start off a little, a little serious, um, uh, with hunting the, season for niggas, you know, uh, Jesus I guess, Christ. uh, police is Elmer Fudd and we are Bugs Bunny. So, uh, it got a little wild. I, I, it's a one artist who did this. His name, he's the one who did that. The pictures for us. Well, for me, the the one with uh, everybody playing basketball, his name is like the right artist or something like that. Yeah. He did a picture of like Elmer Fudd putting a gun in a black dude's mouth saying it's hunting season. And I just think it's funny that every time uh, it seemed like, it's ironic it's almost a year since George Floyd died. And it seemed like whenever it get warm outside, police be like, Mm, it's about 87 degrees outside. What you feel like what you feel like doing? I was like, I don't know. Like they putting us on top of a uh, mantle or something like that. Like clock that nigga for a flat tire. Got that nigga over there. Huh. He was going 10 in the 20. I seen one dude get a ticket uh the other day. He didn't get killed, thankfully, but he got a ticket. Right? 
Yeah, he was going 65 oh, and 70. Uh, and he walked yeah. through. He was like, you got to go to speed limit. I was like, what the fuck kind of shit is this? He's like, yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Ironically, I'm surprised he got the fuck out that car. And yo, that, that shit, that was bugging me too. I was like, yo. I, look, I, tripping, I was bro. just like, yo, who do you think you are? I was want to say, bro, if you don't get your ass back in that car. Yeah, just, drive <laughs> just drive off, bro. This is a win. This is a win for us. You got away, no ticket. Uh, he gave him a warning or some shit, right? Yeah, he gave, he gave him a warning. I was also wondering, I was like, now is a warning a ticket? A warning ain't no ticket, is it? It's just no, a warning. Word. No, yeah, it's, it's just verbal, warning. like on your job. Yeah. That's I, I, con, the way he ran at that cop. He was kind of like, "Yo, bro, you don't want to kill me or something?" Because you just handed me our warning. I'm like, "Bro, you it was astonishing." Though I ain't gonna lie to you, it was like well, I had to watch about three times because I was just like, "How? Like how he even get pulled over?" Because like everybody goes five under or five over at yeah. the most. That's normal. And uh to see that, I'm like, "Dog, this shit." <laughs> like, dog, he's like really. He, and then the cop was like, oh, "Okay, he ran and shit." He's like, "Oh, he's clean." Uh, he was like, where are you going? All those random ass questions like, oh, where are you going? Where are you, uh, where are you coming from? Uh, mm -hmm. Like, what, what does that have to do with what's going on right now at this moment? He's like, is this your car? No, nah, it's a rental. I got the information right here. He had to check his phone. Anybody else was like, oh, OK, you know, just because he, he he was just confused. The confusion made him get out the car. It looked like I, I wouldn't have gotten out the car, but I don't know, dog. That shit ain't the key. Random. Ain't the, the key word and speeding ticket, though, speeding. So I'm trying yeah. to figure out how you got a speeding ticket for going five miles under the speeding limit, yeah. which was still baffling to me that you got pulled over. It seemed like he was just giving him some shit because he pulled him over. But right, which yeah. which is dangerous too when you think about like the big scope of things, with how they just pulling us over for no reason, or they claim to have some sort of justified reason to pull you over, and then it turns left. Yeah, you know, you end up you end up pepper sprayed. Yeah, you know, that still you end up make, doesn't make sense. Yeah. Like, so, I mean, shit, Harrison, you in the, uh, you in the military, bro. So, like, how is that? Yeah, well, how was that? How was that moment yeah, for you when you saw that guy in uniform get treated that way? Uh, I it wasn't a moment for me. It was more of a moment for white people. So I was, I was kind of like, I, I was like, can y'all please stop saying that I, I got people who serve in the military and it's disrespectful to them? And I was like, lo and behold, his ass got arrested. Uh, he's well, he got pepper sprayed and all that other stuff. And I'm just thinking now, I was like, now what's y'all next excuse? So, yeah. uh, he's like, damn, they was like, shit, we can't use this, we can't use this line no more because they mm -hmm. they got him. He was like, he said, uh, he's like, what did he say? Get out the car. He's like, I can't, I fear for my life. He said, you better yeah. be. I was just like, damn, I was like, like, he told him, he told him he was gonna point? ride the lightning. Yo, where did the point <laughs> come to where he? Guy, where was the guns need to be drawn at? Why his hands was out here, bro? Like his hands was already out of the car. Right. Ain't no guy. How you, you let's see a magician? Like I don't never seen somebody ma magically pull a gun out. But well, why are y'all guns out? And all black SUV. He's like, I'm scared to pull out. I'm scared to you know get out the car. He says, you better be. Come on. I was talking to somebody in the comments today, and like they just it just irritate it just irritated me with the comment of trying to justify the cops actions and just the 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 effortlessness that it is for police just to always be able to pull a weapon out on somebody and then just always feel like it's what is what's the word for it um excessive force or their life was in danger when a minority yet we got so many examples of actual murder and they get to make it to the fucking car so I just I don't be getting like what where are you feeling these hostile threats that that all y'all are what y'all like how do you first off yeah how you let's let's just not even go from like because it's not even the police that was acting up we even got people in the military acting up so like let's not like where where is this gall that that y'all just see everybody of color and just feel like y'all just going out y'all way of always fearing for y'all lives or protecting something but when it's like actual fucking crimes y'all always want to give somebody the benefit of the doubt well he was just having a bad day so he went and shot up some massage parlors six, six people bro like what are you talking about he just murdered three to four people and the, the fifth person is in critical condition like what are you talking yeah, about like i i never hear them showing like i remember when the kenosha dude killed those people at the protest and they were trying to call him a kid and then when Dante White got, is, is it Dante or DeAndre? It's Dante, uh, right? Dante, yeah. Yeah, okay. when he got killed, they was trying to show a picture of him taking a Facebook picture with a gun. And I'm like, what, what does that have to do with 
but y'all was showing the kid picture and like holding up some fish or something like that when it was a Kenosha shoot. I'm like, what is him taking a Facebook picture of a gun got to do with anything of him getting killed at a traffic stop? What is what is George Floyd's criminal history have to do anything with him getting killed over selling a fake 20? You know what I'm saying? Like that, yeah, like yeah. that, I don't I don't be getting people memes for always going to that. And like I said, won't y'all just admit that y'all trifling? Then when old girl stormed her criminal terrorist ass up into the White House and got two to the goddamn dome, like man boy and uh snowfall, season <laughs> four, y'all doing y'all thing. Uh yeah, everybody facts. talking about say her name. I was like criminal terrorist, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Becky with the bullet, <laughs> Becky with the the hole in the neck, you know what I'm saying? Like they want to talk yeah. about all this. She was an army vet and all this. Well, I'm like, well, uh, bitch, uh, she you should have you should have known more than anybody the law for anything. You was all up in there for the years. You were saying your creed every fucking morning. So like, don't be don't be doing all that hoop line shit for that. They just white people just some of the some of y'all just annoy the fuck out of me with this justification and like i said that comment today trying to justify the cops behavior it's a traffic stop we'll talk about talk about a little bit about the 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 previous part to the comment like what was the question and it just did they feel they like there was wrong on both sides for dante and the police officer if you are a police officer you are held to the highest standard you don't get a chance to make a mistake i don't care what he's doing he's he's a civilian you're supposed to be upholding the law so I ain't about he, to justify he with the a chick and whatnot, right? He was with a girl when he got shot, uh, Dante. I don't know the ends of I, I know he got shot and it was a traffic stop. I know he called his moms yeah. right before and it was like, yo, I think something about to happen. Um, mind you, I'm looking at all this as it happening while I'm on the boat and stuff like that. And I'm like, how you mistake a taser for a gun? Yeah, that's I mean, too many times. I don't even mistake my pistol for my shotgun on gears of war so how the hell are you out here mistaking a taser for some you put a gun that you gotta load up every day before you go to work for a taser a taser and them don't even feel the same where was the threat though he was in the car with a female driving you gotta, you gotta <laughs> cock the gun to make it ready what are you talking about like you just yeah. be talking shit like come on now and then yeah. people be trying to justify because the nigga had warrants and shit take his ass to fucking jail then like it don't be let them run. Let them run. It don't like none of none of them result in death. <laughs> yeah, they, somebody's always gonna get caught up anyway. If you're looking for them, if it's some serious crime anyway. If you're fearing for your life, you don't need to be a cop. Yeah, if you out there fearing for your life, if yeah, that's you the there, that's definitely like Ryan Davis, the comedian, he made a really good post about uh where he just kind of calmly broke down, you know, the whole being of the police and, and he talked about you know as, as a police officer one of your jobs if not the most important job is to apprehend people who break the law and people who break the law what do they want to do they want to escape they don't want to be caught for breaking the law and so he was just like for you to sit up here and try to pass off that you are not expecting somebody to escape after they break the law is laughable you know what I mean? Like you went to police training, to police academy. You learn how to use your gun. You learn how to, you learn how to use handcuffs. You learn how to use a stun gun. You learn how to use a baton. You learn how to do pit maneuvers in your vehicle when people uh, uh, escape you. And so for you to sit up and and act like <laughs> you were so taken aback that somebody decided to jump back in their car and try to take off on you is laughable and that your first reaction out of all of the weapons that I just named is to shoot you and then all that you ain't never played a shooting gun where they ain't gave you a tutorial on how to aim shoot and right. do all that this is a video you, game you okay? take fighting classes too so you, you ain't, do exactly combat. right 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 you take you take <laughs> rap uh all type of probably jujitsu and we all type even, of other combat yeah. we ain't even got to go to the extreme as being a police officer when you just ever played a video game and they ain't told you how to play the damn video game, okay? Right. They tell you everything to go forward, go forward. Like you can't play switch Call weapons. of Duty. Like switch <laughs> weapons, hit RB. Switch you want to hit a grenade. That's the most important on, one. Now. Like so, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I'm sitting there saying you can't even play video games at the lowest level for them not to teach you directions. So you mean to tell me you sit there and went through all this training and don't know none of that? Like, come you on, glitched. Now. Yeah. That's what they, that tell you, that they tell you in video game. They tell you in video games which person on your team in red, and which person is not on your team in blue. Like, so I'm trying to figure out if we can figure these basic shits out in a video yeah. game, not to friendly fire 
on on Call of Duty or all these other games, why you can't take your happy jolly ass out there at Mayberry and ride around? Twenty plus year, it? twenty plus year, twenty five, twenty five, and she's training somebody the night she shot him. Like, come on, dog. She's this training. Another... You do it. You you look. Where's that Dave Chappelle at? Just sprinkle a little crack on him, and then we just bust up out of there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly, dog. Man, yo, the whole thing like. Is like it's it's not even we we all numb at this point as a community, you know what I mean? It's like we, what can we Unfortunately. do? Unfortunately, it's like it, it's and you know, saying like getting stopped right now ain't going, ain't gonna cause nothing but high blood pressure. Like you get stopped, you like all right, bro, all right, let me just not talk, keep my hands on the steering wheel. This is what we always been taught as kids growing up. Like you know, what I'm saying we you know in our thirties at this point, and it's like, yo, the hell we got to do now? Like it was like we can't keep teaching generations and generations of people of our kind like yo you know when the police pull up don't move keep your hands on the steering wheel already have your license out like you know how many things you got to do like especially if you, you know like in virginia like i know you you definitely gotta you know wear your seat belt and you're gonna get a ticket that's like how it is mm-hmm. nationwide now at this point and it's just like damn like damn, i got my seatbelt on like i remember getting stopped back in like you know like six years ago or something like that i'm over here like yo all right do i gotta i gotta put my seatbelt on i got my seatbelt on my license all right uh yes sir uh Yes, sir. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Um, I was going home. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. You gotta. Mm-hmm. It's like that has that it's just off the top of the dome already trained. Like I shouldn't have yeah. to teach my kids that. You know what I mean? Like it's just not the way of life is supposed to be. But it is what it is, man. So it's it's tragic. It's Very gotta, much so. And so now we this. go from we go from that to so, the other news that happened in the same week or the same time frame with the, with the, the black boy. boy. Well, first Walking off, down. let's not let's not let's not act like they ain't fuck up one more time and shoot that little 13 year old boy. Oh, uh, you're right. Well, y'all, y'all don't even know what the fuck y'all doing out here no more. You know, what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> yeah. I seen that. Like, I seen a glimpse of that. That's, that's a clear. <laughs> it's almost like, you know what the police remind me of? You know, when you give like a child Grand Theft Auto and they don't want to do the mission. They right. Just, they just ride around the city, ride around and yeah. hitting and shooting people. That's what the police ought to be right now. The police are all that. And bag of police are a that's that's their training year old boy worthless ass uh kids playing not worthless kids but because kids aren't worthless but police are at this point um and then i saw this video of this white person talking about i'll kill the police i'll kill them i was like must be nice i wish y'all had the same that need to go viral i was that's how i saw it (laughs) Tell me y'all saw that video of the flip flop where the white kid, dude that got pulled over by the cop told him that he's gonna shoot them. He that's pulled, the like, video he, I'm talking about. That's the oh, video that I'm is the about. same video. Okay, yeah. okay. That's what that's, I'm talking about. That was wild, and I was like, yeah, that's definitely two different Americas for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, that's shout out Bomani Jones. That's, that's exactly what it is. Two different Americas at all times. I'm telling y'all, boy, that shit getting wild, man. It's uh, it's like I mean, other than the numbness, it's like man, I can't even. I ain't got no more tears, b. I can't even keep seeing our people down. It's just way before we were here. It's, it seems like it's gonna be way before after we gone too. It's just like uh, uh, NBA players, just go play the games. Don't don't stop it. You don't want you don't want you don't want them stopping no more. You don't don't stop them. the damn. They in Minnesota. Take y'all asses out there, or do not stop the damn game. Because what yeah. are you gonna do? What are you stopping the game gonna do for us? Oh, the NBA. Well, let's 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 keep it a buck. I wasn't watching that game anyway, and I didn't even know y'all was playing that night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Let's keep it a buck. It's a regular fucking season. Ain't nobody watching that game anyway. Go play the fucking game, okay? So either go yeah. protest or go play the fucking game. So yeah, and I even when that- they did it, it was just kind of like something to do, and like because afterwards I didn't hear about any anything that happened after i didn't hear about anything moving after that it was just like yeah they postponed the games and then they picked them right back up yeah, you know so right after play y'all ass as a game in this regular season all right this is a playoff game or something like that then you got my attention but it was the bucks against somebody that didn't matter so i wasn't gonna watch that game. like like when the bucks didn't play orlando and it was up 3-1 let me give you a heads up i wasn't watching that game either okay like don't don't postpone another fucking game unless you're gonna go out there and protest because i ain't fucking solidarity at this point they still yeah. killing us y'all did all that y'all wrote say her name on the back of the jersey y'all wrote pop lock and drop it for justice Y'all had the crumplers all up in the Not street. Like Y'all had the crumplers all up in the street doing all this. We done fought ourselves. The lady doing the what was that woman I sent you who want to do the uh, 
Who the knows? Her, dance. What, her, what her fat ass? I don't know. She want to do some <laughs> dance for your health. But y'all done did all this. We done fought ourselves over Black Lives Matter, Black Trans Matter. Right. Now Black Lives Matter is... Uh, now Black Lives out crook. here stealing. Now they out there. And <laughs> now we got to go to yeah. ethnic lives. I'm just like, bro. And yeah, then they I think it was like Asian this. Lives Matter next. That, uh, that was a weird take, too. It was like... Nobody, like a lot of people I talked to, it might have been ignorant to say that, but a lot of people were like, I didn't know Asian people were going through a lot of stuff. Every like, black person I know said this shit. And we was like, was, look, okay, we get it. We ain't doubting it, okay? And we respect it. But they whooping yeah. our ass just like they whooping you. And I ain't never it, seen I nobody lie, stop. It's not worse. I ain't never seen nobody stop getting jumped to look over somebody else getting jumped and be like, hold on one second. Let me go help them. No, nigga, we all getting jumped at the same time. We know who it is. Mm -hmm. But you know what they calling it? They had this. They had this type of training at work. They call us extremists, and they had all of us up in here at this one meeting talking about what extremists is and all these type of groups. And I'm looking at myself like, uh, it's a bunch of niggas up in here. It's a bunch of races up in here, and we clearly know who stormed the fucking Capitol. So why the fuck are we up in here having extremist training when it's terrorist training with white people? Don't have us up in here with this shit. Come on now. So shout out to the little 13 year old boy. Um, not shout out, but shout uh, out. My uh, fault. Not shout out. Condolences. I don't I don't want to I don't want to let that go unnoticed because yeah, boy, y'all, y'all is putting extra mayo on these sandwiches right now. The way y'all is up here doing this bullshit. Too much he goddamn, a, man. He 13. If you can't tackle a 13 year old fucking child, and he wasn't even that big of a child. Right. He's real skinny and short, it looked like. Yeah, I've seen pictures he, of him. He looked like the size of Diego from Diego to Explore, whatever. <laughs> but, um, that's, that's, that's not what we need to be doing with him right now. Condolences to that child. Yeah, you got me laughing. You, you <laughs> I'm, saying, jokes. I'm saying condolences. I'm, Cause bro, I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of like getting upset about this shit over the same shit. Like I, I don't think the shit is, I don't think the shit is what you call it, but I'm like, you don't like, think it's funny, funny bro. Like, yeah, I don't think yeah. it's funny, but I mean, like, I'm not about to be pissed this whole episode. So yeah. we about to yeah. go to another person, white people. Y'all, y'all on the docket today. Uh, we got the little, arm, <laughs> going we got the little army dude. <laughs> yeah, we we gonna try to spice this bitch up somewhat. But you got the little army dude. Uh, I've noticed this is about white people. Y'all know who to be white power with, and y'all know who to keep y'all fucking hands to yourself. So Man, that's facts. Yeah, yeah, I definitely have noticed that. I definitely know they, that they know they know what type of black person to pull up on and what type of black person to oh ambush. Because that little skate, that little skateboard little Yo. boy, he knew exactly what he was doing. Yeah, exactly. He was chilling, man. Like literally chilling. Like that that right there is like one of those you know i don't wish this to happen on nobody but yo i wish the dude would pull up on me i'm a big dude what's up mm -hmm. like pull he up on right. me. he wouldn't even do that he would i just thought you said something to my right or he would have hit somebody he would have been like hey he would have got a problem or uh any, any one of us grown man period that was like he probably was like fresh freshman in college level oh B. yeah for sure he had to be like 19 years old or something like that yeah. he, right a child somebody's child you yeah. know just got caught out there but i ain't gonna know. lie though i love the way they showed up at his crib though deep oh, yeah. like he nobody like he ain't like, come out he ain't he didn't stuff. come out apparently at one point he i guess he somebody had caught him sneaking some bags out so they eventually i guess snuck themselves out somewhere but it's funny like like to y'all's point mm -hmm. um you know when we show up when the community shows up like, you know, they were doing a little chants, you know, at his house or whatever. And, and you could hear in one of the chant videos, one of the guys, man, fuck all that, man, you know, I'm, I'm about to whoop somebody's ass, Thank man. Thank you. I, I fuck all that. I, if I see him, I said, that, I told Noah, I said, let him have did that to Noah. I would have ran at his ass and hit him with one of them Jermaine O'Neal at the palace punch. I <laughs> Classics. Knocked, I would have knocked him the fuck out. I'm talking about, hey, you're talking to my wife. You talk him, pow! I would have. It was so funny. Hey, he was like, I'm "That's about, that's your wife. That's your wife. <laughs> that's your wife." He's Man, I, I it was like, first off, hey, hey, I'm gonna look at his wife. I was like, hey, control your hoe, all right? Don't play with yeah. me. And I look at you. And I, like, I, like, I look, I, I look at him, and I say some of the most spiritual words that have ever been said in the in the. I think this is First Corinthians second verse. Don't play with me. Play with your bitch. <laughs> and I walk my ass up out of there, and I'd be like, "Don't, don't ever." And then, or you know, I use a the guy line real quick. <laughs> Yeah. Say that oh, shit from oh. Pulp Fiction and saying that Jackson shit. <laughs> exactly, but no, they. I just thought that was real funny. I thought he was real bold, and you know, it's funny. 
the dude was walking in the neighborhood. He done walked in plenty of time. He lived like the adjacent neighborhood. Yeah. So he was just doing like a normal walk. And I'm thinking to myself, when the fuck do white people always get this audacity to talking about, can we get your papers or something like nigga, I ain't no slave or something right, like that. Right, this on some like sundown. Thing. This on some sundown town. Uh what was right. that TV show? So, uh damn, I know exactly uh, what you're talking about too. I can't think of that shit either. What is it, James? We both watched what it. Are you talking about them? No, 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 no. The other one with the one that we thought was really good on HBO Max. Oh, nah, Lovecraft? Yes, you the second episode oh, yeah, of Lovecraft, yeah, like it was on some stuff yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that shit weird, bro. Like this shit, it's like, like I mean, I ain't never been walking in a neighborhood and that shit happened to me. Like, I, I just can't imagine that though. Like, I, I it's just like a, it's like a snap. Like, I would have snapped a dude. Like, he was just a man. But that's like the same. That's like the same with getting pulled over. I ain't never like been searched or done anything to the extent like. Don't nobody see me and like just feel threatened. And I ain't no small dude. I, I mean, shit, you saw me when I was getting ready to get up. I ain't little. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But like, I don't have them experience, but I had those experiences at work as a black individual. So I already know how y'all see me. You feel what I'm saying? But like, like I just don't get where y'all get the gall from to think that you just going to come up here and, and G check me. Like, I won't like knock your bitch ass out, but <laughs> You yeah, know, he's just weird, dog. I was like, yo, he's just a little kid, man. Keep what I don't get is <laughs> when you pushed him, like, let, 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 if, even if you just fucking yelled, first off, you was out of pocket. His mama should have came over there and sliced your ass up. Like, <laughs> yeah. uh, like uh, Della Reese tried to do Eddie Murphy in Harlem Nights. Yeah. Uh, when you pushed him, you was a whole fucking, like, military person. Yeah. Did you not think of that shit at all? Like, did your racism, like, just trump Yo, common sense, like you got a whole fucking career and you about to throw this all away just to just to check where a nigga live at? Like you the hall monitor? Like, come on, white people. Come on, nah. <laughs> and then it went viral. Privilege. And, and you know, the, that was just about to say that. The funny part about that is because it's, he 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 about to, he go he about to go to jail, about to catch a charge, probably definitely lost his job for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh because of his own wife recorded this shit. Can we talk about that? That's the funniest shit I've ever that seen. That wasn't his wife. That wasn't his oh, that wife. Was, oh, that wasn't his wife. That was some people it? trying to make sure he didn't do anything crazy. But no, oh, so, okay. oh, I thought no, okay. because I I, he looked at a lady that was recording, he was like, That's your wife. Like no, <laughs> when he looked his at his wife, his wife was across the street. She had on them green shorts. So what happens in the military is you go through civilian prosecution and then you go through the military. So whatever they prosecute him for as a civilian, because he got charged with aggravated assault and he got charged with something else, he still got to go through military punishment. So he ain't even started like they got to strip him of his rank. He might lose his retirement. He probably going to get discharged or whatever, but he going to lose all his rank and all that. So he still got to go through like the military aspect of all this. So he ain't even like begun to do yeah, even worth it. Cause that's what I'm saying. Like you like, to be where he was living at and to look how he looked, he looked like he probably done did like close to 25 years, maybe mm-hmm. 2018 or something like that. And you was willing to throw all that away, like over some shit that I would have walked away from. Like I get maybe like me fighting or something like that over a heated game of basketball, but anybody that plays sports know that after the game, you shake up. But yeah. you, after the, when I would have saw the cameras, I would have just not like, I would have just like, whatever. And you pushed them. So y'all on the y'all on the fucking roll. I don't know. Like I said, I'm I'm already annoyed with uh talking about white people. I don't know if y'all wanna convince them <laughs> anymore. Yeah, just, I'm tired of the mayo. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> exactly. it's, it's already depressing. As it is. Right. You so we can go. Get off we... my sandwich. Let's talk about uh. You want to switch to our brother Kevin? Yeah, we can go ahead and jump yeah. to Reverend Samuels. Let's go ahead uh, and get to this. Um, it's gonna be some people that are. Probably annoyed with what I'm going to say. Um, yeah. Probably won't agree with it. And if you don't agree with what we're saying, Speak freely, Kevin is talking about your ass. So, uh, <laughs> so for sure. we had Kevin Samuels on the Joe Budden podcast. Did everybody see it? What well, did uh, yeah. Brandon? Did you get a chance to see it? Yeah, I saw it. I definitely saw it. it was oh, okay, <laughs> so you know, uh, we'll go with you first. What was your take on it? Um, I like to do, man. It's like. It's like, it's like a well, it's like, I, I just hope, like, I remember listening to y'all episode last week about the Derek Jackson dude. I just don't, I just hope he stays on this level, like on this high level that he's on, man. Cause I don't want this dude to be like another like failure in the community. <laughs> I think somebody said that uh, in, the okay. last, in, the, uh, yeah. in the last episode, it was funny. I just hope he, I like him, man. The whole, the whole episode was a good take because 
it was just like he the way he was talking about he's like i'm not i'm not disrespecting y'all y'all come on my platform and talk shit to me Mm -hmm. (laughs) so i just be like so how you know uh, i guess i think it was a part where he was talking about the like one of his past episodes when he was like uh i think joe asked him about one of the women he was like she was built like a whale or some shit like that i was like bro that is oh, funny. Oh, built, built like who? It was Barry Sanders. It was some football yeah, player. Yeah, she was bigger than that nigga. <laughs> so mm-hmm. oh, he it said was just, bigger than bigger than Emmett Smith. There you yo, go. That had me crying, bro. Like it's just the fact that like we that's because it, it relates. It resonates with my podcast because it's just like you know I talk about the shit that women do in dating, and I talk yeah. about what dudes do in dating. So it's like mm-hmm. it, it makes perfect sense. Like I understand where he's coming from. He makes sense. Like you know you can't. Be, you can't want a six figure nigga when you not even making close to six. And I mean, mm-hmm. you can have dreams and admiration, but you got to think of what a six figure nigga is thinking about. <laughs> like, and you don't look the bill. So you can't be having these out of whack dreams. But, you know, women got, you know, imagine, imaginations that, you know, go beyond <laughs> the stars and shit. So, <laughs> so I, I liked it. I liked it. I really mm-hmm. liked it. Did point. you have anything you didn't agree with that he said on there, or were you one hundred percent like? Um, like, on that particular this particular episode with yeah. Joe Biden, I, um, I, I agree with him one hundred percent. Like, I feel okay. like, I feel like that it's just we, we he's it's like he's speaking for the men that have been taught to be voiceless. You know what I mean? Yes. Like we we've always yeah. been trained your woman's right, your woman's right. Yes, yeah, she, she's right, right because at the end of the day, you want a bigger goal. Yeah, but. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes we gotta fight back though. Like it's not like we're wrong. Like we like we're some idiots or something. Like men have to do so much, and women have to do so much. And it's like, right. but certain women. Uh, one part that stood out the most to me because I spoke on a, my on my my last episode. It was um, he said something about you know women wanting a six foot nigga. Like you know, mm-hmm. I, you know, so I'm five ten. So it's like that's oh, cool. I get it. You know, saying so not to talk bad about anybody six feet, but it's like you know, where what's the logic behind? behind it like you can be missing mm-hmm. out on your husband because you have this goal that you're not you know you you're not understanding like you you're missing you're pushing people that could be really good for you and just because you you're looking at that one standard so it, it made a lot of sense and i was like I, I, I bang with that episode for sure um i i mess with it heavy uh the more i've listened to him the more i've catch myself uh not finding anything i disagree <laughs> with more. um he be preaching i ain't i ain't even gonna flex i just think that and then i sent banks a video uh yesterday did you watch the whole video no not yet i'm a, I'm a bad. okay I'm a so basically it's just and I, I i didn't know how old he was until he did the thing i didn't know he was 52 but i i, yeah. I listened to him and i'm like he not talking like somebody, like you said, Derek, well, like we said, Derek Jackson, somebody, he talking from like experience he been through. through. And he's using, he's using, for me, my bad, I'm gonna let you finish. He's using data. And that for me was like, I didn't know he was so uh, well-versed in like the stats of things and, you know, well, he got his it. historical context of stuff. Like when he was, cause you know, at first when I, when I found him, when people would send him to me, um, I would be like, oh, okay, this is like a troll. You know what I mean? Like, this is like a, a Instagram bit. You know, like he would, he, women call and he kind of low key degrade them or whatever. I thought it was just kind of a show. But yeah. when, when I watched the whole Joe thing, I was like, oh, like you got a history of doing this since the 90s. Uh, you, you know, and, and you using data, you talking about, you know, percentages of black women and men being married. Yeah. And, you know, all these things. I was like, oh, okay. That put it into perspective. And I was like, oh, okay, I can mess with this. But uh, James, you you were, you were talking about him? Yeah, I just, like I said, I feel like he, what he's saying, I feel like there's a lot of agreements with. Uh, he was saying um, that the part about there being a lot of soft men because they're being raised by women and then there being a lot of stronger women. You know what I'm saying? And then he was also saying like, you you say that you you want a man but how do you want a man if you know when he's out there doing stuff for you you can't be told nothing things like that then um just like the standards and stuff like that are was only being pushed by he was talking he was talking to you he was talking to you with that 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 modern woman wanting an old-fashioned man he was talking strictly to you oh yeah that's something you've dealt with in the past and had issues with just modern women want an old fashioned man and stuff like that. But I mean, in order, to, but then they still want to be, a, 
but then they still want to be a modern woman at the same time. I'm like, in order for me to be an old fashioned man, you got to be an old fashioned woman. So you nice. can't just you can't just continue this one. I mean, like we'll fuck around and end up doing a whole review on the episode. But I just think <laughs> if, um, yeah. as a whole, I I catch myself really just being engaged on what he says because I listen to and I go like the episode I sent you. Females come in. I look at it like this. If anybody comes to my show, man or woman, because I've seen him talk about dude, he called like dudes like you got a little dick. Like it don't take that long. You got that a big shit was that shit was funny. That shit was funny. Yeah, that was, that was <laughs> I was like, what? That I, shit I did see. I saw that clip. Loop. But that like he said, that loop. shit don't go viral like the female ones do. So you call him, and he said what they say. He's like, y'all be coming on there ready to give him attitude, and he like he was like, I'm over. He's like anybody over forty. He's like when I was raised up, if somebody over forty speaking, you don't speak. But people be coming over there ready to tell you wrong and stuff like that. And then yeah. I watch his show and people are like, he ain't going to talk to me this way. He ain't going to do this. Well, if you come to me on my show, how are you going to come to me on my show trying to check me on some stuff? I'm charge you up and shit like Exactly. That. And then when he come and do his job, then you feel in a certain type of way. And then like I even with the sweetie comment, you know what I'm saying? He was like, he called sweetie a six. And he was like, she has potential to be cuter, but only time you see her is with makeup. And he was like, well, every female called themselves a 10. And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't disagree with that. I don't think it's a problem with having confidence and stuff like that. But like, Mm -hmm. you know, like people's like realistic barometer, I mean, realistic uh, meters and stuff like that. Like the bar is like, like I said, like I got what he meant with sweetie. If you can't come out the house how you normally look, then how could you be an eight or a nine or a 10? And then, like I said, people just reference Pam Grid. (laughs) <laughs> exactly it was, uh, fucking dime but uh yeah, and then people was tripping about that too like old man finding pam greer find, like i feel like people just get on here and complain and yeah. then it's always like i always see somebody saying black men don't c- cater or whatever to white to black women and stuff like that or then like the woman came on there the, the clip i sent you banks where she was like he asked her do you do black men feel like black women are ours and she answered that for every other race. He's like, yes or no? Yes or no? And then it's like when the accountability part comes on for the women that he has on there, they don't want to answer that. So then you get an answer how he is because you're on his platform and you kind of like yeah. setting yourself up because you don't answer the question. Right. I want to. You want to be so defensive or so checking him. But if you were to really just sit back and listen to the question he answered, because you end up saying, no, we ain't. So Right. Why? Yeah. You end up saying it without saying it. So uh, so what so is he wrong at that point? You feel what I'm saying? So I just think uh, that's I, the funniest part when you like when you actually got a woman in shambles about it, like she going ham, like trying to but he's like he was talking about how like she like women would come up there just go ham, like ready to cuss and shit. Like that. that's like that's how you know you're wrong if you gotta if you gotta elevate yourself like in a in a negative way. So like you're not even coming to listen. It's like that's how two people have a conversation, one talking, one listens, and vice versa. So what's gonna happen? Like, well, you, let's uh, let's go to one. He said, like, he don't he ain't gonna date nobody with kids. He like, I'm at a certain or like, if somebody ain't got no kids and they like, well, I ain't gonna date nobody with kids. Like, you can't say like, yes, I can. Like, if yeah, I don't want, yeah. mm-hmm. like, if I don't want to date you with kids and you got kids, I don't have to date you. And then there was one woman. She was like, if you got kids, he was like, well, you should lower your standard or something like that because like you've been used up. He said called him a two or something like that, right? Some, I, I, I can remember something like that, but he was just saying like, and I don't disagree. I don't think the value of somebody changes from kid. I don't think the value of them as a person changes for kids. But realistically speaking, if you got kids already, you know what I'm saying? And I don't have kids. You asking me to come on and do something. I'm essentially, you're essentially telling me in order to, be with you i have to change myself from just dating someone to essentially becoming a parent if i want to continue anything right big ass jump and if somebody doesn't want to do that then they don't have to and you can't sit there and be like you can't sit there and be like uh mad at somebody to be like no the person with no kids got something better to offer that's just really and you and i i have a kid so if somebody don't want to deal with me because I got a kid, they want to mess with a dude who don't, I have to accept that. You know what I'm saying? But I think yeah. when he was saying that, he's like, that don't change me. I should just take, I'm like, no, but you aren't like, 
Like, what is you aren't like the head of the line with that? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't disagree with that statement. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I think that is very true. If you have a kid, like that's like that's extra baggage that somebody has to. And again, speaking from somebody that has a kid and who was worried about that when I first had Isaiah, like telling everybody that I was thinking of the same as telling them herpes. Like that's that's something that you bring into a relationship that not in my case that ain't stopped me from nothing. So uh but um i don't think but, it really stops the man on that side man no like, i can stop the man it depends on how old the kid is and depend on how like type of father you are i wasn't that type of person i was looking for a stepmother and i also know that yes i have a kid but i have a kid with somebody else and it doesn't pertain you at the particular moment because i don't know where you going with this so that's something i got into myself and i'm not looking for you to come help me with my with my with my parenting so I'm not looking for you for that. And the fact that I didn't bring any baby mama drama into it, I kind of kept those two separate was always a, a plus, but I don't think that's the wrong. I don't think what he said was wrong. I don't think a lot of the things he says is wrong. And I don't think that it's a problem with him, with his delivery. If you coming on his shit, <laughs> if it's not, it's different. If he was coming on your shit and just talking how he want to, I don't think it's a yeah. problem when you go on my shit and I talk to you how I want to talk to you and you came on my shit, especially when you coming on my shit to talk to me and set me straight. Right. I, you I, th- I think he made a good, energy. exactly. I think he made a good point too about like drawing a parallel between coming on his show is similar to coming to a business that he owned. You know what I mean? What would you do if you went into a business that you just, they talked a little reckless or they were a little slick at the mouth, you would just leave, yeah. right? You would not frequent that business anymore. You would not, you know, there would be no, any time where you was there or you wouldn't tell any, you would tell other people not to go to that business. Thanks. But since he's on, you know, since he's on, I guess, quote unquote TV or, you know, he's, he's in the social limelight it's a draw and everybody wants to be on everybody wants to come on and quote unquote set Kevin straight. And, and to James's point, like this is a 50 year old man, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all really, y'all really talking slick to basically y'all daddy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a different, it's a different style. Like I want you want me catch me talking to nobody crazy like that. Like, exactly. Yeah. Like I said, I, what they say, you, you get two ears to listen twice as much in one mouth to talk, uh, what is it talk less or something like that i can't remember the mouth part yeah mm-hmm. so, I, that's a new one I, that's I yeah, something, god something gave, like that god gave you one mouth to talk and god gave you one mouth to to talk to <laughs> i don't know it's something to the fact you got two shit was smooth listen. when you first said it you get, right right right, right. You i try to i try to fix it man i try to i try to, I try to fix ears. it god gave that's you two that's what the power everybody listening gonna be twice as much as you speak that's what that's what it was 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 he gave you one mouth to speak less and two ears to listen twice as much so anyway uh there we go appreciate it um i guess my quick take y'all kind of took all the real good points but um, i mean i agree with a lot of the stuff he (laughs) talked about um i pushed back on the makeup thing like i really don't think women wear makeup for us i really feel like i don't think he said wear makeup for us bro i'm telling you i think he said they wear makeup for them yeah it, did yeah, he say that for the okay? Yes, bro. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna have to go back. I need to go back and listen to it. Then yeah, he said the he was saying that it's, there's a perception like women think we want that shit, but we right. I remember him we, saying that. Yeah, we don't want that. We don't care about this shit. As long as you right, you, know, you a good woman, you taking care of us, and we and you give. He was like, I love the part where he was like, "Yo, men just want to like just be heard." You know what I mean? Be heard. Yeah. Want, we just want to. We want some compromise. You know, I mean, we it's not all about y'all. It, you know, we yeah. don't carry that way. And it was like we already carry all the weight, like we have to produce as men, you know what I mean? So, right. What do you say? What do you say? Pressure is made for shoulders, not hips. Yeah, that was that's what he said. That was a bar that he that he I don't know if he made that up or whatever, but um bar. right. But uh I mean, yeah, so if that was the case, and that's I mean, you know, strike that from the record then as far as my pushback. Other pushback I told James earlier was when he made the reference to the when he was in college. And um, I guess he didn't know about food stamps. Mm -hmm. And so he, you know, I I felt like that was more of him maybe being ignorant or simple as opposed to women really being so dependent on food stamps. Um, But then I was talking to James and apparently James didn't know, I guess, you know, when he was younger, he didn't know that men could get food stamps. 
Um, I, I, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like I didn't. I I don't know, uh, Brandon. You tell me. Have you ever? Did you ever see well, men when you was a kid? They would get they from their baby mamas, but I'd never seen yeah, them people with sell that shit yeah. in their name. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, and then you know back then, like, get, like early 2000s and whatnot, like where everybody started getting jobs and shit like that. It was like, hold up, you know, I ain't about to be in no Section Eight, and then you know now Section Eight is like lit. <laughs> like, it's, I mean, not <laughs> technically. It's like you know that's it's a whole it's a come up now. You know what I mean? Like food stamps, like oh shit, who got food stamps? Like I've always had a job. Thank God, you know what I mean. I've been I never been I had both my parents growing up, so thank God to that too. I had. I had a point where I never needed food stamps. Like I always had a good job. I always made too much, but it felt like I wasn't making enough. Like, nigga, can right. I get like, can I get a little bit? Like, I don't, I ain't, I'm just want twenty, thirty dollars of it. I don't need like two hundred and the whole card. Just let me, right. let me get a, let me get a twenty dollar little check to deposit or something like that. But you know, you know, it goes to hopefully to the right people that need that shit for real. But it's like it's just that it's always a negative stigmatism to that shit though. Like I just hated that. But I ain't yeah. never know that either. I ain't know we can get it. Like, I just felt like it was always a woman thing. And she, because the stereotype of the single black woman or, right. you know, single women, period. You know, so it all, it, that that conversation grew <laughs> as, as we were listening to it. I was like, okay, we here with Snap and shit. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I was like, oh, shit. I was like, okay, um, Snap it is. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, quick, now, we, what'd you say? I'll say before we go to the next one, who you what you think they're gonna decide on that uh George Floyd case? Man, shit. I would like to think that they're gonna decide uh I think I think, the, I think the nigga gonna walk. Oh, okay. They, I hope to like, be wrong. I hope to be wrong, but if you offended and also if you offended by that take, um do we gotta just name all the other niggas that walked? Uh Breonna Taylor. Uh, they they uh, never walked in. Yeah. Huh? They still, they never, they they never walked in the no courtroom. They that's still, all that time. But I'm saying, like, I'm just saying, like, as in, like, I wouldn't be surprised if the police got off again. Let's just call it that. I think it's gonna walk. I hope not, but I, I, I think it's gonna walk just because it, I don't think it needs to go 16 days. I mean, we saw it for a year. What is there really to defend? Oh, mm-hmm. We saw this nigga choking him to death, like. What else is there, bro? And they trying On to pull out that, all the stops, trying to say it was the exhaust fumes and he was so high off drugs that that knocked him out. And I'm just like, come on, we really were grasping at straws here. The knee did nothing. But uh, so, yeah, so we off of that. We we not going back no more depressing. So uh, <clears throat> we going to give a shout out to the 8 More Than 92 fam, Miss Gail Bean um, for Snowfall Season 4. I will sure. gladly say I was wrong on what I thought was going to happen this season. And I'm going to tell you how good of an actor she is. She played it up like you was going to get She played it up like, right, like I was going to be at the awards accepting season four for its entirety. So, uh, <laughs> but no, nah, season four, Snowfall. You watch Snowfall, Brandon? Explain who Gail yeah, Bean is, man. though, for the people who don't know. First yeah, off, everybody know who Gail. First off, if everybody watched the show and listened to our podcast, they know exactly who the fan bam Gail Bean is. Okay, but, but you might have some new listeners and you need to explain who that is and your relationship to her. First off, I want to take this time to uh make sure I tell Banks low your tone. Second off, I want to uh <laughs> second off, I want to say Gail Bean <laughs> plays Wanda, <clears throat> aka you know, you know, Gail Bean, aka Young Buck plays Wanda on Snowfall, the recovering <clears throat> right hand man, right hand woman, a Leon, but nah, Snowfall. Hey, that past power. This last episode. Uh, oh, for uh, sure, most definitely. Past, which past which power, power though? Which power? The first one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we go. It, it was a that. different time. It was a different time. It was <laughs> not. Let's let's get this straight. Power came out fucking swinging in the first four seasons. Let's it did. Let's let's not even play Bruh. that out. Power came out uh. swinging, but this fourth season. Them niggas ain't keep the foot off the gas, boy. I'm talking about every episode being lit. Then this last one with uh these last two, because I, I came back and saw the last two. Um, yeah, I still got to catch up. And went. Well, I mean, I'm good. I know what's going I know what happened, man. You can't avoid it. You know what I'm saying? I, I know what's going on. It's just that I got to go watch it for myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm on like, I'm on like, hey, I'm on episode eight. I ain't going to front. Ain't gonna front. I already seen what happened. I'm like, bro, not my homie. That was one of my favorite characters. 
Okay, okay, so you know, okay, so it ain't no spoiler alert, so you can keep going. Okay, yeah, I'm about to say, did you, I heard he was from here, from VA. Yeah, yeah he is, man. My, um, my cut, you know, you had his, like, you, oh, my cousin, cousin, no, <laughs> it's one of those things, like, yeah. it's uh, but my, not nah, my cousin knows his mom, so like, you know, yeah, my barber told me about it, and I was like, dang, man, I was like, I wish I would have known, I could try to get, I, in touch you, with I thought him. he was out there, I thought he was from out there. No, he's from Newport, right? Yeah, uh, I think either. One of the two, I thought it was Chesapeake, but like his mom stayed out Chesapeake. Probably. Yeah, man, I was like, man, I was like, dang, he too big now. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna see my DMs to come on the show. But uh, I mean, shit, now nah, honestly, he cool people from what they look like. Um, I be following cool. his little YouTube channel and shit. He be uh doing some home improvement shit. <laughs> he cool. uh, yeah, he be home improvement, but he ain't gonna home improvement them DMs. But nah, uh, man, boy, and all them, that was just they went out. <sighs> look. This has been the most I done held back tears. You know what I'm saying? Like when Louis got shot, on, I ain't gonna sit there. I ain't gonna sit there. Ain't gonna sit there. <laughs> no sissy right there, boy. You said what? Hey, Louis did. Hey, hey, it is the irony in that episode. First off, first Louis off, first off, first off. I'm supposed to be Jerome, there. <laughs> Jerome, big ass, cried the entire time. Uh, he did. Second off, <laughs> second off, don't act like with the way she got shot. Was it like, all right, Bro, I was hey, so. Yo, she might be okay. gone. I was cause... super okay with that. But that's because you ain't got no soul. So, anyways, uh, so, not yeah. Louis though. I mean, I thought Louis. Wanda got popped. I thought it was a rap. <laughs> no, I knew Wanda. I knew Wanda wasn't gonna live because you know I got faith in Gail. But uh, but um, uh, no. Nah, when <laughs> when Louis got popped, I was just like, I, I ain't hold nothing back on Louis. I was just like, dang, Louis though. And they played it so. It, I think it was Jerome in the hospital, and how hurt he was that probably got me. But when, when yeah. Franklin put them Dukes up, so you ain't got this far. When Franklin yeah, put them yeah, dukes yeah. up, I'm to watch that shit now. A bit. Franklin put them dukes up and was gets getting his ass, his crippled ass beat. Boy, when I say I, they was, I could just feel them coming. I was just like, yeah, that was a real scene. Right oh, there. I was just like, oh, this is OG status, but uh, Snowfall, <laughs> hey, Snowfall, hey, Snowfall, the best show on TV. Hey, Snowfall, right now. I don't know what the fuck they talking about. Snowfall is better than The Wire, but like, we're not about to do this Jordan Lebron. Show. And I never watched. I never watched that. It's two different type of shows, man. You can't compare. You can't even compare power to that. Let's not I, skip over. Let's not skip over the fact that Banks has also said he's not seen something else in black uh, television history again. Let's not. Let's just not omit the fact that he has a whole, a whole biography that you can do of him of missing out on black opportunities of amazing black cinema. Yet he won't oh talk about Black goodness. Lives Matter. Well, if you don't sit your Uncle Tom ass on, so. damn, <laughs> <laughs> not Uncle Tom, huh? Hey, <laughs> no relation. Oh man. man. But okay, go ahead, uh, Brandon. What just, you saying? Just got woke last week. No, nah, okay. I just got woke last week. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just saying, man. Snowfall is definitely the best show on TV right now, bro. No easily, lie. easily, easily. No lie. I it's think a, it's just I like the character the character development. development. I think that's Look really that. good, and I think yeah. Uh, Franklin finally hit kind of like OG status these last two episodes, but uh, <laughs> yeah, don't. Fuck and with it's Teddy. so good, it's so good. Like you said, to the character development. Like I went back and started watching the old first season while I'm watching the new season, and just even how he's, you know, just even how he was acting back then. He was a bitch. Was, was different. Like it was, yeah. he was so wide eyed. He was even a bitch. his acting and how he did stuff. It was so believable. He... Was a bitch. <laughs> he was straight. I mean, he wanted to. He went about that action. You no, know, hey, Damon. You know what I'm saying? We we love how you doing in snowfalls. Don't be talking about. We was talking about Franklin. We ain't talking about Damon. All right. Yeah. You hear this, and you be like, I was gonna come on that mind and kick it with you guys. But so you, are you making him Jamaican or what? I don't really know. You know, how to you know it's that, that. It's that. Right. English, I'm like, what that, are you? It's making that African. It? English African accent. <laughs> <laughs> but uh. <laughs> but uh. What you call it? But no, he was he was trying to pay everybody. Off. He ain't want to kill everybody. Anybody. Right. Leon was the fucking hitman, and now they comparing was... him to um, young Denzel. How you feel about that? No, I no, know, too soon. It's it's that's Michael B. Jordan. Man. Michael know. B. Jordan's more Denzel. I think he's actually not as good an actor as no. Dan. As Dan, he, he just is. He, he, he not get. He not. For some reason, he's not, off, he's not getting the movies. He's not getting the movies. We like support that. Michael B. Jordan. Just in case you listen to the Eight More Ninety Two podcast. But Thanks. my one, if I am gonna keep it eight more than ninety two with you, there you go. He be overacting. All right, yeah, for he, sure. He be I mean, I woke up to my daddy. I woke up to my daddy with tiger claws in his <laughs> Y'all came up here. That shit was hard, though. Y'all got all this. 
but I ain't gonna no, leave that no, no more. No, that sir, was, no, sir, no, that sir. That shit was hard, bro. Come he on, was like, not that scene, like, not that scene. He the was like, opening he was scene like, when he, he in like, the museum. Burn all, he was like, yeah. burn all this fruit. He was like, but we use this for the next one. I said, burn it. Ain't gonna be no other king. All right, brother, calm yeah. it down. Just, yeah, that was like, nigga, down. that was fucked up. Yeah, that was kind of fucked up. They talking about he might come back, though. Man, look. Because, I, I mean, in the comics, he do. I mean, you know how the comics be. Look, they just go on so many other plays. All I know is I like Michael B. Jordan. He used to be overactive. He just be. Hey, come no, on, man. Just no, Mercy he, was fire. Him and Jamie Foxx. Now, that was appropriate. He actually gave appropriate amount of action for that. Like, he, he was like, but in Black Panther, it was, oh, I, I just remember, because I like Michael B. Jordan. I mean, Creed, oh, Creed, Creed, went hard. Creed he was definitely overacting. I hear, what we talking about in uh, Creed Get out of here, one. old man. Creed yeah. 1 when he get was. Uh... Get your sick ass out of here, old man. Huh? Wait, what are you oh, referencing? Wait, it's Creed. Uh, like, oh, yeah, Creed, that's, okay. That's when, yeah, that's when he was. Uh, he was that 2 or 1? That was the first one. Rocky had cancer. He told him to get up out of there. So you basically, whenever he um, is in some sort of action role, you feel like he got to be, you feel like he's over the top. Uh, what movies have I seen? Because he like wasn't that? like that in like Chronicle and you know all. Oh of yeah, that's stuff. his first movie star. Uh, oh, he yeah. was over. At, first off, I, he, I, I lie to you not. I cannot watch Fruitville Station no more, bro. I watched I it never, one time. I never watched, I watched it once. Station, but yeah, I, I can't. I can't. You don't. But you don't need to. You just need to yeah. watch it one time. I don't. Yeah, need to that shit. That shit. That shit hurt. Like it. Uh, it was like. And that's what other movies that's, like, that's, that's like another situation. I feel like I feel like you got fruit. I feel like he ain't over. How you forget about Hardball? Come on now. He wasn't in Hardball. He was. Was he the one with the braids? He wasn't Frank. Yeah. Oh, that was not. Nah, he, he had like a little brief role in Hardball. He oh, okay. Like, I'm about to say that wasn't him. But he no, was one of the kids hey, who played in the, in, the, in the team. I don't think he got, he didn't start overacting until he got muscles. And he started <laughs> emphasizing with Chronicles his chest. Chronicles was a different like movie too. Like, right. I, mean, I feel like. I'm, I'm re- hey, I ain't gonna lie to you on the 30th, that new shit with him and Lauren London. That shit looked fire though. Now what is move, it? Now that shit. The, it's a new movie. It's on Amazon Prime. It's called um, Damn Man. I thought that was the Tom Clancy thing. Is that not? Yeah, it? yeah that's it. That's the yeah. same oh, okay. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's the same. Now, just you know, now you know, Lauren is still ingratiated with the blessing of Nip. So just mm-hmm. make sure you keep your distance. All right. Yeah, I need her. I need her in a, her like in a real movie without her dying. Like here's some shit. Like, like I think the last disrespect, hard movie. No, sh- no disrespect to Lauren, but uh, yeah. I don't really need her in a lot of stuff where she's doing <laughs> lots. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she cool, but when she got to show emotion and really, like, Lauren, <laughs> Lauren sound like she's reading the script as the movie's filming. I'm be like, Ugh. What other, what was what other this, this Christmas? movie have you seen her in? Oh, this Christmas? Yeah, that was, she was, she played a good, she, yeah, played she was fine. Movie. I mean, she did what she was supposed to do, you yeah. know, kind of be like a flighty young girl. And she was in the game. Yeah. She I never watched. I, I never game, watched the game. game that with that her season of the game with her and Jay Ellis, man, that was weird. Dog. But that was, I don't know. It was just different. They should have just brought Derwin and Melanie back. Just speaking of the game, you know? yeah, right. I never watched the game. I didn't watch the what's the other show on BT? She's on. Well, you never watched it. You never watched yeah, it. Uh, watched that, I, is that show? Is that just? Is that still, like show still going on? What show? I don't. Her. It's, she got another show that's like it is on BT. Like her and the other dude. Some oh, dude. I remember that show. Bonus, I think that's his name. Yeah, they said that show because she did that when um after like Nip died, and they was like, "Damn, girl, do you care?" I saw like one episode, and I was just like, mm-hmm. <sighs> "Like she, she ain't far from it." But I'd be like, if niggas could get her to stop doing this weird thing that she do with her voice to where it looked like she's remembering the line. How we forget about ATL though? <laughs> and when Nuno. she had to be, and when she had to be, uh, what was her name? Nuno. Uh, ATL. Nuno. Aaron. No, what's her name? Aaron. She <laughs> said, "Give me my damn necklace, cause it means something to me." Hey, they were they were talking about ATL too for a long time, but ain't, there's no point now. But ain't nobody trying to see that even grown ass. Yeah, nigga. I mean they they are way a, past the grown. I mean I don't know what yeah. it would be. It would, yeah, it would need to be, be called, their. It would need to be their offspring at this they point. They so grown, it needs to be called Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that shit, I'm ready for a new season of that shit. Yeah, that's supposed to be in the making. Yeah, I'm gonna they be been, so they, mad. He been. I don't know what Gambino on, man. He been on some. I mean, shout out to him, but he be on some like random shit. Like he I be, be trying disappear. to figure out what's the craze with Childish Gambino. I don't. I don't get. Oh what, no, it's no. It's a, it's a certain people. You know them Afrocentric people. Like I don't know, man. Like I'm like I. I, 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 I I hated his his album outside of Redbone. 
and that one song that he made the like animated video i hate it this is america um, Damn. <laughs> I, I, hate, I hate how he grooms himself i hate him when he's clean shaven um i hate i hate his shit, character though. i hate his character in atlanta um ironically <clears throat> he's annoying yeah. as fuck um yeah, <laughs> he, I don't, plays, he I, plays that different role like i'm just the dude that lives in atlanta but i'm not like 100 percent ghetto i just <laughs> like, I, get, I get the creativity of him like behind the camera and he's not a bad actor so yeah. i'm not gonna say like he's a bad actor in there but i just don't get the craze of like him outside of like everything he t- he's not aaron magruder like everything he touches not fucking gold like i just i think he's a very dope but i'm not about to slander no black people i just be like when yeah. they be like when they be saying we need uh fuck is his name aaron, donald glover i was about to call him aaron donald uh donald glover <laughs> and stuff like that like okay i i'm cool when atlanta comes on but i'm not like like who make the show is like his story that's how good of a writer he is the story doesn't but um you know what i'm saying like paper and we had to even go back and read the, about the, how the story went together we, that's what i'm saying i like, ah. might say boy that didn't even make sense yeah, season two was kind of weird other than cat williams in that first episode. it was right. too but if you wire. but if you go back if you go back and like read somebody's because i found it on the internet one time i was just so confused throughout yeah. season two that's and then not i went back thing. and read it and i was like oh like that's how they good... brought it full circle uh-huh that's not a good thing. Like, if I got to go read it, like, I'm saying, like, we all saw it and then we missed it. This ain't a Christopher Nolan movie. Ain't nobody trying to do all that. Like, you try to make it too smart. Like, we get it. Uh, your character is a shitty manager. He only thinks of himself. And at the end of the day, all this shit represented, you turn in the Robin season. Like, bro, ain't nobody trying to do all these double entendres. Just, just <laughs> make it, like, clear through. Now, y'all did say who's the next Denzel. I think his son is the next Denzel. No, nah, no, nah, I was about to ask y'all what y'all think about Daniel Kalu. John David. Yeah, yeah John I don't, David. I don't, play, but Daniel Kalu is that. I don't, he's I've like, only liked. I've only liked. He's been a sucker nigga in every movie except for Fred Hampton, and I don't care for Lakeith Stanfield either. He's been a sucker nigga. I hate him in Atlanta too. I hate his character in Atlanta. He's annoying. He. I'm tired of this whole hippie like. Astro- yeah, I'm tired. I'm tired of the 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 stupid like stupid like stoner shit yeah like that's not a, yeah. i don't like that on anybody and especially you know he was, our that, body. Uh, he was in that movie with adam sandler too he was uh, he was like playing he like, was cool in that i liked him in that i like what it. movie with adam sandler uncut jim uh, uncut jim. oh right, right, right he was yeah he was normal he was normal which was a terrible movie outside of the outside of his i guess girlfriend or whatever yeah. <laughs> well, terrible so movie huh yeah, well, that so shit was different i don't know oh okay <laughs> I'm telling. But so, but, uh, so, but not, so y'all won't rocking with him in um that uh, black uh Messiah. No, he did with, playing, he playing did, the, the snitch did, dude. Yeah, he did good. In oh, that. he did a great job. He did too yeah. good. But uh, um, I didn't like him on uh that little phone movie. I didn't care for him in that. But um, phone movie. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that movie that came out on like Hulu. This was a random movie called uh, was, "Thank You for Sorry for Sorry to Bother You" or some yeah, shit. Like oh, that. with the horses. Yeah, yeah, and yeah the that's, girl. He, when he was tripping, he was just like tripping out with the white voice yeah, thing. Yeah. That shit was funny though. <laughs> it had me uh, crying. It was alright, but yeah, that one. But uh, I think exactly John movie. David Washington will be the next Denzel. Tenet was an amazing movie. I it, it's one of those movies you gotta watch three Tenet. times. You gotta watch Tenet. it like. Three I times. wouldn't say watch it three times. Just go watch Tenant Explain, and it'll explain everything. Yeah, it was everything was in backwards. I understood it watching it. I think I need to watch it that second time, and then I was like, oh, okay. Bad, well, because bad, bad, you, you know the little boy was the little boy was what you call it? Uh, Bro, uh, I Robert ain't seen Patton. the movie, man. I need Robert, to watch the okay, movie. well, nigga, it's been out long enough. The little boy was Robert no, Patton. It's not, no, it hasn't. The movie been out for... <laughs> what are you it's talking been, about? It, it came out beginning of pandemic. It's been the Thank you, bro. Come on, I, well, listen, I ain't watched it. I still want to watch it. I ain't going to blow it for you, bro. I appreciate <laughs> you. I appreciate the respect. Bro, he ain't going to so, do it. He moving ain't gonna on do to it. the next topic, you got Marvel being woke. Well, no, uh, no, I didn't really no, understand no, that no, 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 no. So Fuck you committed, you committed to spoiling that. the movie that I have not seen. <laughs> Fuck what you talking about. Okay? Out of the respect you, for our brother, Mr. David, right here. Who I said, don't respect you. I don't respect you, okay? <laughs> well, uh, this is going to be another episode of the 8 More 9 2 podcast, where oh, James where, will be the only is, one keeping it 100 from here on out. 
because <laughs> because I'm out of here. Out. All right, bro. You gonna be like uh, Drew Hill when they quit on air? <laughs> you didn't, you didn't tell Yo, us this. That shit was cool. That shit was tell classic, us this bro. Came, Yo, mm -hmm. that was that shit threw me for a loop. <laughs> I was like, damn, this shit, this shit fake. <laughs> <laughs> I still watch that shit. They looked at it. He's like, bro, you being serious? He's like, oh, y'all didn't know? And it was like, hell no, we didn't know. He's like, why you ain't tell us this before? The release date for Tenant was September 3rd, 2020. It is now April, what is it, 19th, 2021. Yeah, I'm still seeing it. You pushed that shit back. You couldn't watch that shit till then. I know you couldn't watch it for a while. They pushed it. No, they pushed it back from August 26th. To September 20th, and it was well, on digital. We moved on to Marvel being woke now. No, we not. So I just want you to know. So why I said they oh said, God, what's bro. so like I was saying, it's oh it's hilarious being like in the I middle said, of this. He, he, he had <laughs> right. almost, a, he, had like, almost how, he had almost a year to watch this. So like I said, Robert how, Pattinson how was the little boy, uh, and you know uh, he hired him. That's how he knew it the whole time. What you said, you watched it and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was just weird at first. Like like I was on a date and I was like. She was confused as a motherfucker. I'm, I'm over there like, yo, this shit crazy. Girl. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I had to go. So I, if I, I was watching it on digital, I had to pause it and go make sure I was looking at it right because that coin shit kind of confused me. And you got to yeah. think about everything's happening backwards at the same time. So <laughs> Vic's you, like, man, the fuck. You can never happen, You know what I'm saying? But no, he eat a dick. All right, it's been September 3rd. We ain't gonna go through all that. He gonna watch it. After he, watch yeah, it. He, he, you can work. tell on the whole movie right now, he still wouldn't he understand still have to watch it again. That's the type of movie it is, bro. You gotta like sit, like you gotta be, you can't be sleepy. That's one thing. You gotta be up watching this. Shit. You know, we about to get, he about to hit us with it. You know, I find it really funny. How, no, I'm playing. So let's go ahead and go to the, like, now he on the computer surfing the internet, trying to make kids grades for tomorrow. Come on, boy. So the last, <laughs> the last subject, uh, oh, you done turned the volume all the way down? <laughs> oh, are we back? Yeah, oh, look at, he done turned the volume all the way down just so he wouldn't hear nothing. Don't worry. Oh, we were just talking about how Robert Pat. Look at oh, he man, that was crazy. Let me go ahead and uh, <laughs> that sound crazy. All right, so cool. Let's go ahead and don't worry. You'll listen to the episode, and we're not. I'm not taking it out. Damn it! I'm so your dumb ass. So, anyways, uh, so now nah, Marvel being woke. Y'all saw the latest episode of Captain? I mean, uh, Falcon. Man, I'm trash, bro. I'm trash. I need to catch up on that shit, bro. I know, man. I know. Mm, mm, mm. All I will say is this, Banks. I know you ain't watched it either, because. Uh, you don't watch shit. Uh, so all I'm gonna just say is, I would just say this: we could close it on that one then, because neither one of y'all seen that. I want to <laughs> shout out Marvel, especially for that Shang Chi trailer, uh, for being obviously aware of the movies that they're doing and the people that they cast. They got this one scene in Falcon and Winter Soldier on this new episode where they talk about the experimentation on black people, especially in the war, and they show the parallel when cap when they talk about the parallel when captain america went rogue and saved all them people in the plant how he got treated as a hero and then sam bradley did the same thing and they show how they were covered up a, another super soldier and just how blacks were experimented on and tested for diseases and the suski airmen and stuff like that so yeah. i just want to shout out marvel for being woke on if you're going to do a show centered around a black person talk about black plights and things like that. And I just appreciate Thanks. them using a platform to tell our stories. And I don't care if they think it's political. Uh, you can't be no black Captain America and act like you don't know what's going on. Just like when the episode, when they first found Isaiah Bradley and the police was gonna arrest Falcon until they realized who he was. Cause he was a black man arguing with a white man in the middle of the street. So uh, y'all got any closing remarks in with your bums? You ain't see shit. <laughs> I mean, shit. He made me want to watch it, though. Shit, they need to plug you in this month. Yeah, I, I, need... I, need to catch up on it. I, I fell like, asleep on I that first something. episode, and I just never made it back. And now I'm just kind of waiting for the episodes to stack up. Nigga, it's five episodes. Oh, okay. So I can watch it at any time. Drop a little five hours right there. Boom. boom. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I just knew that was a boom moment. Goddamn shit. I'm gonna definitely uh I'm gonna definitely catch up on that, man. I mean it's like I mean I've been I've been on the game, man. I'm a video game head, man. I'll be on the game. Okay. <laughs> so I'll be shooting people on Call of Duty. <laughs> it's like it's a stress reliever. <laughs> I can't get into Call of Duty, but I'll be on gears. Oh yeah. Uh we everybody rocking with this new joint called Outriders though. Like uh ah. I got to see how it go because I'm not really that much into a shooting game. And also, I don't like first person shooters. That's why I fuck with Gears. 
But yeah. it's a third person. It's, it's, it's third person. That game third person too. I might try it out. Just try something different. See if I. Can it's called it. Outriders. Is it for? Yeah. Is it both platforms or for? Uh, just PS4, PS5. Yeah. Uh, both. It's, okay. and, and it's crossplay. Okay. Um, cool. Like you can you can hit the, you can download the demo and then the demo will transfer over into some new shit. Oh, okay. Well, shoot. Like I said, you got anything you want to plug before we go? Shit, man. Definitely, man. If you haven't, um, you know, checked out the pie yet, man, definitely check out check out the last episode. It's called "I'm No Longer Shy" on the "I'm Just Saying" pod. Uh, <laughs> talking. Uh, it's a, it's just one of those random episodes. I was thinking about, like, man, I gotta start shooting my shot more. <laughs> it's like it's too many women out here not to. <laughs> the worst I can tell you is no. Yeah, it's like you was you miss a hundred percent shots that you don't take. Yeah, we talk about that on the episode, man. It's a good episode. But, well, I lied. The worst I could tell you is ill. But other than that, yeah. after that, then the worst I could tell you is no. Nah, I'm too, I'm too fly. I'm, I'm handsome. You know what I'm saying? I can't. Fly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too fly to get. What died. would your Kevin? What would your number? Did you would tell Kevin Samuels? Man, what would I would tell him if I was up there with him, asking yeah. questions. I probably, I probably would act like a, a simp or something. So I just want to see what he did. I'm, a, I'm a, I troll like that. <laughs> like I don't fuck with him. But if I was up there, shit, I'd probably be like, you know, I, I mean, I just can't think of it as a guy that would call up there. I don't know. It's just not my thing. But if I did, I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. I just, I'll be trying to like, I'll be like, yeah, man, why women be tripping? Why bitch? I mean, chicks be ghosting and shit like that. What the fuck wrong with them? That's what I'll probably be like. And then okay. he'll, probably, he'll probably go in on me. Right. <laughs> right. So, so how much? Me. So how much do you weigh? Yeah, that's exactly what he was saying. So you built like a you built like a fat back <laughs> from a snowfall. I can tell you got a little meat. So uh, but you were, <laughs> right. Yeah, I was like shit. That dude was that dude was tripping because he was he didn't know what to say. He's like, I'll be. I guess I'm at. I'm like, yeah, my shit's slanging, nigga. That shit three feet from the floor, nigga. That's what I was like. I'd have been confident as hell. You on a whole live stream on the front, right? Half of something. He, at least play like, your part. Like, don't like, get on yeah. there and start doing all that bashful. Like, you be, I, had, <laughs> so, I mean, I I'm, 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 I'm average. I had to put it on my life insurance. That motherfucker was so big. That dog was a person. <laughs> my shit looked like a baby leg, dog. <laughs> so, she, before we go there, get out of here. Uh, B, you want to sign us off? Oh, me? Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, oh, thanks. Okay. <laughs> nah, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Definitely, definitely, man. It's the 8 More 92 podcast slash the I'm Just Saying podcast. Appreciate y'all, boys, for blessing me and letting me slide on y'all platform, man. This is love right here. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. We'll y'all later. Peace. Oh, my. That same shit. Y'all better off realize. Do it. More than not.